explore some. I'm not used to this type of terrain generation. We have a mod pack installed. Terralith, I think it is. And uh, most modded I have ever played was in season three. So we're going to exceed that with season four. Why not? This is a cross play server. We have, we have bedrock and Java players on here. So it will definitely be an interesting season. We go this way. I did have a short look exploring the base area to, you know, identify where we wanted to set up. I don't think I have very many people near me at all. <laughs> oh, what else is new? But there are quite a few biomes I find intriguing nearby. We're near jungle. We're near a couple of other things. I'm going to look for a fortified vi village. Bah. I'm going to look for a fortified village. It should be a few blocks away, I think. Not taking a bed. We're on one player sleep, of course, in the SMP. You usually do that. So, oof. Okay, uh, careful. <laughs> I literally didn't even hear that until I was on top of it. Do have a little bit of armor. Oh, what do I have? Chest piece and boots. I don't want to sleep because I don't want my spawn to reset. At the moment. Oh, I do have a boot. Okay, that will work. Try that. Okay, because I think we want to go. Ooh, what is that glowy thingy? Okay, bamboo jungle I knew was nearby. Huh. Okay, there's a thing right there that's. I think there's some added structures in this thing. So I tried to not explore too many of those until I got to here, near where I am located. So now that I am, it's a good time to see what we can find. I wanted to kind of wait and not ex miss anybody else's stuff up. Okay. Lanterns, moss. This is literally just a well. <laughs> It is. It's a really cool looking well. I don't think I'll mess it up. <laughs> okay. Neat. On the map, of course, we are using the Zeros mini map. Trackers. So. Okay. Let's try back this way. I am going to want to try and level up pretty quick with villagers. So, oh, is that the village right there? I think it might be. It is what is what they call a fortified village. So I have to go a different route. Pretty sure we have a kill boat thing. So I'll take the boat with me. You can already see from the terrain that they've used a lot of the blocks that are sometimes hard to get. So. I think myself that's pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to uh, build with some different things. I have no idea what I'm going to build. I, I wasn't even sure what the terrain was going to look like. when I picked the area I'm at. The uh, Amethyst Rainforest is what that's called. But I do want to see... Okay, it might not be too bad getting the villager back here. Keep getting the windows, but not the front doors. Oh, there we go. Here we go. You have nothing for me. Take all of that. All right, we'll do that there. Oh, we have blast furnaces. You guys are my heroes. 
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. I like that. Well, I guess I'll take the cobble. Oh, a natural stone to beat. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm taking these. I will uh, leave you something in this place, but I'm taking these. Sorry, you probably, uh, huh. Okay. Oh, neat. It's like a castle wall. That's cool. I guess why it's called the fortified village, huh? Where's your front door? Did I walk past it? Yes. Hmm. Very much like the other one. Alright. It's fine. That's cool. Okay, that's super cool. That's that's a lot of stuff there. Not that I need the poppy, but uh That's awesome. Okay. Um hopefully my uh computer doesn't uh whine too much in the background. For some reason it uh not liking this. Okay. I might leave you guys those. Two efficiency to pickaxes. I like that. Very right, cool. And I have carrots already too, so um farm wise we're already set pretty well. I didn't take the other one there, but I'll take the one here. Is that? Yep. Okay. That's cool. I'll leave you guys that one. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, I know how to take care of that. Wait a minute. I'm not thinking. There's a lot more in here than I expected. Let me hold off on that one for now. Let's see what else we have. Oof. Oh, that's cool. You guys got a little cave of your own here. This is very neat. <laughs> I like this. It's almost like a maze through here. Okay. What do we got? A uh, birthday cake. Oh, okay. Somebody else was investigating one of these. I think I heard somebody say something about birthday cake. That's cool. This goes further up too. Go on the battlement. I guess all the way to the top. It's cool. There we go. Song took a sleep there. This is a nice, good overview of what's 
means in the village. All right, let's go down here towards the bottom floor, I think. I think. No, I can't get out that way. So not all of these have access on the bottom. Is that what that is? Well, this one has a ladder, that's different. That's because, aha, it has a chest with bows and arrows. Oh, uh, server restart. Whoops. I wasn't recording all the rest of the part through the castle. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so I did find a chest with bows and arrows. A couple more picks, a diamond and obsidian, uh, along with emeralds and uh, books. And uh, that was the majority of that was in that little castle area there. <laughs> and uh, just came out here. I was looking at that and then realized because I just saw a frog uh, right on the edge of a mangrove swamp. So we could actually get swamp villagers too, which would be really cool. I'm still exploring this village, but I am nearly out of room. Oh. Uh, and that's going to save me some room. All right, sweet. So now I can do things like, there we go. He wants stack those in there. Okay, good. Sweet. Um, I had to get rid of my ax. That's okay. I think I can go back and get it, actually. Alright, let me explore a little bit. There's a few more houses I have not checked out. Uh, once I figure out how to get to them, I have to do a little bit of uh, modification just so I can get here and there. Because there's a couple up here. Very neat stuff. Oh, propagules. Yes. I can grow them wherever. Yes. Perfect. And I have spruce. Oh, goodness. I have spruce saplings already. So, uh, where's your front door? It's not there. Oh, it's right there hidden by the leaf things. Okay, cool. Well, you have a nice house. And the two-story one at that. Okay. I'm not complaining about all the extra things. Okay. One oak sapling is really all we need. I'll leave the one apple for now. Okay. These are awesome. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Hey. We have a librarian. Oh, I like your house, dude. You have a lot of books. Where's your upstairs book up there? Projectile protection. I will take that. A book and quill. I will take that. 40 books. We are almost at the right number. Let's come back and get some more things, I believe. Let's see what you're hiding up here. Probably just a bed, but. few books <laughs> you have two lecterns there's two librarians I think I'm gonna take the books from the other thing I want to get my axe first which is in here so we'll go take a look at that if I remember how I got in here uh, just in case you're like me and have never seen one of these things before how to get in here 
this way. All right. The um, doors are kind of hidden behind the trees. It automatically opens for you. Um, have not collected the hay bales yet, but in this little courtyard area, this is where I found the diamonds. Let's see if I can remember where I left my axe. There is, because there's a target practice area over here, one of these chests, I think up in one of the towers. So up here, let's see, we're having a birthday party, an employed villager. And then I think, let's see, I don't think it's this tower. I think this is just a blank tower. Yep, okay. Oops, I want this level. I literally think I had to go. Uh, this one, which is taller, and I think has a ladder. Yes, a ladder to get up top here. This one has a chest up top. And that's where I left my axe. A couple odds and ends. I might, might redistribute those to a different chest at some point. But let's take this. Uh, trying to be good and close their uh, thing. Okay, now if I go this way. Yeah. I can go in this one. This is the, uh, this is the one that connects. Let's see, there's more stuff up here. And I didn't grab before. Gold, paper, paintings, etc. Eh, choices, choices. Actually, I'm gonna leave the stone and take the candles. Okay. I'm gonna come back for villagers, so I'll definitely be back here. Other, oh, it was up on the hill. Okay, right. Was it up there or was it in here? I do like that. You're not a librarian. You're, oh, you're a cartographer. Okay. Oh, uh, you have maps there. Well, I'm sorry, dude. I'm actually going to take these. Leave the librarian ones. Ah, that's plenty. Sweet. So we have enough for a. We can do a nether portal. We can do. We can do the bare bone nether portal, that is. And I don't know how to get. Oh! Um. I sort of know how to get down here. I guess we're gonna. Make the path. There we go. Bit of an overhang there. Okay, what we got up here? Lots of bread. Lots of potatoes. And more rabbit hide, which is what we need for bundles. So that's good. That would be good for snow, so I'm hanging on to those. Yeah, I'll hang on to everything else I got for now, so we'll just leave that for what we got there. Okay. And I believe that's all of our I'm going to take a look. I think this might actually go right back up into the village. Oh, I could have got up there this way. <laughs> well, oops. How was that? No. Alright. Let's see, there was that one. I don't think there was anything else up here. Oh, the librarian was up here, wasn't it? 
That's the other good thing is I'm I'm right next to where frogs are. I, think I left something in here. What? Infinity? No way. Why did that say infinity? Yeah, I was tagged wrong. Oh, unless that's an upgrade. Huh. I don't know that I trust that. I'm not familiar with all the mod packs, so I'm sure that one's probably trying to show me something that I don't know. <laughs> all right, I'll take those. That's part of what I came back for. Okay, there we go. But yeah, infinity and uh, looting. I would like both of those for sure, but having a... Uh, Huh. I'm hearing. Yeah, there might be zombies. It's probably dark enough in here. I don't know where they are. Could be underneath somewhere. All right. Except for absconding with a villager, I have pretty much done what I came for over here. Uh, the thing I would have liked would be, there's not a cleric, so there's no um, brewing stand. I might think of it in a minute. Okay. Get a little bit of snap back here and there sometimes. Grab these. There we go. I don't even need a waypoint for this village, I don't think. It was pretty easy to find. And it should show up on my big net now, I think. Yep. Yep. Oh, I didn't realize that was there. Uh, my spot's right here. I need to check that out. I think I almost fell in one of those. Too bad I missed, I missed that part. This is very cool. Let's go on this natural stone, stone circle areas too. Sweet. Okay. And yeah, need to get some bamboo and things as well, but... Got lots of area near me. A bamboo farm would be awesome. Um, but the other thing I want is a good iron farm. For which I will need villagers. And zombies actually, so that might even be the trickier part when no one's sleeping. <laughs> Uh, okay, pumpkins, chickens. Oh, here we go. Well, that terracotta right here. Just a little patch. A uh, food farm would be a good idea. Although a farmer villager would be ideal for that, really. Caving should be one of my next things but I need some wood now let me unlock that stuff first because I'll hang on to this for now this diamond oh Well, that was certainly a lifesaver. 
If you're enjoying this, please drop a like and subscribe. And I would love to read a comment from you. So feel free to let me know your thoughts. It looks like next time we're going to try some caving. So I could use more iron. Till then, don't forget to look up at the stars at night. Keep those dreams alive and have a beautiful day.